Have you ever considered how a simple, ordinary girl could become a renowned saint? Let's delve into the early life of Saint Gemma Galgani, a tale of faith and resilience that begins in the late 19th century. Gemma was born in the year 1878, in the picturesque city of Lucca, nestled in the heart of Italy. Her life was not one of luxury or ease, but rather, it was marked by hardship from a young age. Yet, these trials only served to shape Gemma into the saint we revere today. Her family, like many others during that time, grappled with financial struggles. These difficulties were further compounded by the death of her father when Gemma was just a young girl. Imagine the weight of such a loss, the grief that must have enveloped the family, the fear of an uncertain future. But even in the midst of this turmoil, Gemma remained steadfast. Yet life continued to test Gemma. She was plagued with health issues, a burden that would prevent her from realizing her dream of joining a convent. Imagine the heartbreak, a young woman yearning to dedicate her life to God, only to be hindered by her own body. However, Gemma did not let this deter her. Instead, she found strength in her faith, using it as a beacon to guide her through the stormy seas of life. In spite of the barriers she encountered, Gemma's faith never wavered. She held on to it like a lifeline, a constant amidst the changing tides of her circumstances. It's this unwavering faith that set the stage for the extraordinary journey that was to come. So, as we explore the life of Saint Gemma Galgani, let's remember that even in the face of adversity, faith can be an unyielding force, a source of strength and resilience. Despite the hardships and trials, Gemma's faith never wavered, setting the stage for the extraordinary journey that was to come. What would you do if you were graced with heavenly visions and stigmata? This question encapsulates the extraordinary life of Saint Gemma Galgani, a young woman whose spiritual journey was marked by divine encounters and miraculous events. From a young age, Gemma was blessed with visions of angels. These celestial beings were her companions, providing comfort and guidance during her times of solitude. Yet, these were not her only heavenly encounters. Gemma also reported visions of Jesus and the Virgin Mary, who provided her with messages of love, consolation, and occasionally, admonition. While these visions brought her immense joy, they were also the precursors to a more profound spiritual phenomenon, the stigmata. This term refers to the bodily marks, sores, or sensations of pain in locations corresponding to the crucifixion wounds of Jesus Christ. For Gemma, these marks appeared on her hands, feet, and side, mirroring the wounds Christ bore on the cross. This manifestation of divine love was not without pain, yet Gemma accepted this suffering with grace, considering it an opportunity to share in Christ's passion. Yet not all of Gemma's mystical experiences were marked by suffering. One of the most notable miracles associated with her was her miraculous healing from spinal meningitis. As her health deteriorated, Gemma turned to prayer, specifically seeking the intercession of Saint Gabriel of Our Lady of Sorrows, to whom she had a deep devotion. And indeed, her prayers were answered. Gemma awoke one morning, completely healed, attributing her recovery to the intercession of Saint Gabriel. The life of Saint Gemma Galgani is a testament to the power of faith. Despite the trials and tribulations she faced, her devotion never wavered. Her experiences, both mystical and miraculous, serve as a testament to the divine, demonstrating that heaven and earth are more closely intertwined than we often realize. Gemma's extraordinary experiences brought her both joy and suffering, yet she bore all with unwavering faith and devotion. Can the life of a humble, ordinary girl impact millions around the world, even after her death? This question leads us to the remarkable legacy of Saint Gemma Galgani. At the tender age of 25, Gemma left this world, yet her story and influence were just beginning to unfurl. She was an ordinary girl with extraordinary faith, and her life was marked by instances of divine intervention and miracles. But it was in her death that Gemma's true impact began to take shape. Her passing did not mark an end, but rather, the commencement of a spiritual legacy that continues to this day. After her death, her confessor, Father Hermano, worked tirelessly to spread her story. He published her biography, collected her letters, and promoted her cause for beatification. His efforts bore fruit when Gemma was declared a saint by Pope Pius XII in 1940, more than three decades after her death. But Gemma's influence did not stop at sainthood. She left a lasting impact on the religious community with the establishment of the Passionist Sisters. This religious group, inspired by Gemma's devotion to the Passion of Christ, continues to serve the Church and the world. 
carrying forward the spiritual torch that Gemma once held. Today, Gemma is venerated as the patron saint of students, a fitting title given her love for learning and her ceaseless pursuit of knowledge. She inspires young minds across the globe to seek wisdom not just in books, but in their spiritual lives as well. Gemma Galgani, a humble girl from Lucca, Italy, is now a figure of global reverence. Her story resonates with millions, reminding us that faith, love, and grace can transform even the most ordinary life into one of extraordinary influence. So, can the life of a humble, ordinary girl impact millions around the world, even after her death? St. Gemma Galgani's legacy answers with a resounding yes. Gemma's life and legacy continue to inspire countless individuals, demonstrating that extraordinary grace can be found in the most ordinary of lives. What does the life of St. Gemma Galgani mean to us in the 21st century? This question might have crossed your mind as we delved into her biography. The answer? It holds profound relevance. St. Gemma's life was a testament to the power of humility, faith, and a willingness to embrace suffering. Her humility was a beacon, guiding her actions and decisions. It was not a sign of weakness, but rather a strength that allowed her to remain grounded, to serve others selflessly, and to maintain her faith in the face of adversity. Her faith was unwavering, a solid rock in the stormy seas of life. She held on to it with a tenacity that inspires us to deepen our own faith journeys, to trust more fully in divine providence. Even in suffering, she found a purpose. Her willingness to bear pain with grace and love is a lesson for us all. It teaches us that even in our darkest moments, we can find light and meaning. As we reflect on the life of St. Gemma Galgani, we are reminded that faith, humility, and love can transform even the most ordinary life into an extraordinary journey of grace.